but God sits high, he looks low. We're going to find him. We're going to find him. An emotional day for the family of missing 13-year-old Darius Swain. Joined by friends and community members, they moved through northwest Tallahassee hoping to bring the young boy home. Day two of the search for Swain and still no leads. The family told ABC 27's Micah Cho they won't stop searching until they found him. Well, we're going to find you. We're looking. We're looking. A community, family, and friends united to find 13-year-old Darius Swain Jr. Darius's grandmother, Cassie James, drove from Atlanta, Georgia to help in the search. This man, my baby been missing since Friday. The day is Sunday. He, I don't know if he's hungry. We don't know if he hurt. We don't know none of that. Swain, who lives in Sanford, disappeared while visiting his father in Tallahassee. His family says he left their home at 2.30 on Friday to walk to the family dollar a mile down the road. His family says he left his phone behind. My family, their heart is heavy. The intersection of Bluntstown Highway and Tennessee Street is the last time anyone saw him. Tallahassee police spent the weekend searching on the ground with canines and in the air by chopper. Anastasia Kaiser is one of the many volunteers also helping in the search to bring Darius home. Because we know the community a lot better than family that's not from here, it makes it a lot easier for us to identify certain areas that he could be at. Help from the community, his family hopes brings him back soon. I just want my grandbaby. I just want my grandbaby. That's all I want. In Tallahassee, Micah Cho, ABC 27. The search picks back up tomorrow. If you would like to help in search efforts, you can find that contact information on our website. That's WTXL.TV.